John Force's first appearance, 1979, where he failed to qualify. You've come a long way, champ. <laughs> I mean a long way. Robert Height, Auto Club, Chevrolet, John Smith, Rock Battery, Gates Belt. John Smith, a legacy racer. His father Paul been around this a long time, one of the wily veterans as a driver and certainly as a tuner. Of course, his sisters raced it. Brother-in-law and father-in-law and on and on and on. Carrying on a family tradition. Robert Height's original job in racing was as a crewman. Got started as a crew member, ended up working for JFR. Robert is a really sharp, really focused guy. Something that some of you fans may not know. One of the things that Robert does other than drive the race car is competitive trap shooting. And you've got to be focused when you're doing something like that. For Cornwall tools, power solar. Robert rolls in, Jimmy Prock out in front of the car, Chris Cunningham behind it. They had a great car in qualifying, just 80s after 80s after 80s. And I think this is kind of the same situation as last time. If Robert Height goes out there and runs another 387, 388, he wins the race. But if Robert Height goes out there, bobbles, pedals, does anything, John Smith needs to make a clean run down the racetrack and be in position to take advantage. Cylinder out for Smith. 89 329 for Robert John Smith had a cylinder out right as he hit the gas you saw it go out or I did anyway over here on the right side of the race car he legged her down their way and then clicked it off to a 438 at only 221 miles an hour they are checking things up at the top end of the racetrack 